Hey, hey. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be teaching y'all how I make my uh, espresso drink, okay? My bird doesn't be quiet, but welcome back to the vlog. Just kidding. I really, my bird really doesn't be quiet, but this is my vlog, welcome back. I haven't made a video in a little bit. I've been making videos, just haven't had time to edit them. Um, so real quick, you know, I thought something would be quick and I can upload, edit real quick, and upload is gonna be making a coffee drink. And this is my dog. Why am I out of breath? I don't know. I'm just out of breath. But yes, we're gonna make a drink. We're gonna make an iced drink. I drank an espresso shot this morning and I wanna drink an espresso again. I'm out of my fast so I can eat something. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe like an ice. I'm not too sure. An ice, caramel. I don't have caramel. So I just mean ice macchiato, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna add some milk and we're gonna make some coffee. And this is my dog. The beans that we're gonna use is this one here, the Zeppelin Coffee. I'm gonna assume they're from Houston. One of my favorite coffee shops is gonna be the original Kalachi shop right there on Park Place. Shout out to them. Always making great drinks, have great Kalachis. But I picked up this bag from them. This bag. But it's just their espresso blend. Now what I have here is a DeLonghi La Especialiste. Grinds, it tamps, it does everything. But as you can see, the beans, they're not dark, but they're not light either. But they're not oily, okay? So apparently, apparently, I've never been on live television. No, apparently you can't use real oily or you shouldn't use real oily beans. I have some other ones over here that we were using. Oh, I dropped them, freak. I always make a mess when I'm trying to make some coffee. But these are a lot more oily. So apparently, if you use oily beans in your machine, it could eventually clog it up or something. That was an expensive machine. So, don't wanna mess that up. So, now that you know, what, how fucking high can you see? Hope you can see my head. I'm gonna be pissed if you can't see my head. I'm always like this. All right, that was a fail. I didn't record. I moved the camera, I turned it on, I grabbed the porta filter, but it wasn't recording. You wanna warm it up. I've already touched it, it's already on, it's preheating. It does it pretty quick. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite a caffeinated drink? Is it just two shots of espresso hot? Is it two shots over ice? Is it the caramel macchiato, cappuccino, latte, frappe, whatever it is. Or if you don't like coffee, you drink tea. Let me know what it is. Because I have this now, more videos are gonna be oriented around coffee. They've already been, I don't know you've been keeping around, but I, I love coffee. There's one time I went to a, a place here down by my house that had the Turkish coffee, it was delicious. But unfortunately, because Corona, you know, a lot of small businesses suffered. And I think that was one of the ones that got, which is unfortunate because a lot of these small coffee places have to rely on, you know, us as a consumer to go to them. You know, the big chains, they can survive something like this, but the small mom and pop places, unfortunately they can't. But enough of my talking, it got heated up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this here. Um, where is the other thing? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull into these. We're just gonna warm everything up, get everything going. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna warm up the water spout, independent water spout for Americanos, teas, all that. You wanna warm the porta filter. And what that does, that takes out all the grinds that were in there before, it takes them out, warms your porta filter up. Now, debating if I wanna bring y'all in close for this. Let's put it in, and then I'll bring y'all close. So we're gonna go right here. Now, we have it set to three, and like middle ground. Every time you put a new bean in there, you gotta adjust. Now, it's not a crazy process, but it's a little bit of a process. coffee bean. Now, let me bring y'all in. See this little thing right there? This has an internal tamper. So instead of having to pull it out and go, oh, we got the watch on deck. See what time it is. So we're going to pull this lever. You're going to press it. What that does takes away the process of having to pull it out, do the whole thing on the dang and, you know, make a mess. Boom. Focus. We're just going to dump out any excess. And just so you know, the tamp good. Look at that. Nothing's falling out. It's like damn Dairy Queen. And then we're gonna turn it. Boom, boom, click that. Have it set to espresso. Now I'm gonna get on my knees. You see the pressure up there? Now here's the espresso shot. Look at how beautiful that looks. See those layers? Got the dark layer, got the middle layer, and you got the crema. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Look at that. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a very nice espresso shot. Gotta get the milk ready. 
There's no milk. There's, what, I don't know what the heck this is. What is this? Is there, is there not milk for what I wanted to do? Yo, I found some milk. That should be a good amount. I'm not good with mixing. Two shots of milk, who knows? And it's gonna start to foam the milk. milk into the ice. Here we go. I brought it outside so I can be aesthetic AF. Here's my latte iced. And now we're gonna try it. Mm. It tastes so good. Frothing that milk before, but this is my recipe, how to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And let me know what uh, what other drinks y'all want me to make. I'll make more, but this is really good. Oh, I should get a picture for the IG, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on IG too, I'll leave the link, in, link down below. Or if you need a car, let me know. I sell cars too. Alrighty guys, well, I'll see you on the next one.